What you see here are tomato skins, pips and fibres. Every year, Europe's tomato industry produces around 200,000 tonnes of waste. Can we use it in an ecological and economically viable way? With these leftovers, researchers are cooking up a quite unusual recipe. At this tomato processing plant near Parma in Italy, around 2,200 tonnes of fresh tomatoes are transformed and packaged every season. Some 4% of the raw material ends up as waste and is partially used to produce biogas. But the factory managers here have more ambitious plans. At the moment, we're working with the researchers on how to use this waste in different ways. We especially want to use it for the packaging of food products. To that end, scientists from a European research project have become very specialised cooks. Their aim is to obtain cutina, a natural polymer present in tomato skins. Cutina can replace some chemical compounds currently used in the varnish that lines food cans protecting the produce. And it's just as efficient, the researchers say. Our goal is to be able to produce a varnish with the same technological, hygienic and sanitary characteristics as existing standard varnishes. We're looking for an inert substance with no smell and no taste, so it does not affect the food product inside the can. And we also need a waterproof varnish, so that the food product is not in contact with the metal of the can. Natural catena is mixed with other products to produce the bio lacquer. This factory produces around 15,000 tons of food protecting varnish per year and has tested the industrial capacities of the new bio lacquer. The properties are identical to standard varnishes, but the final product is different. Tomato catena is slightly dark. The varnish we obtain from it has a certain colour, slightly golden. That's good if we need coloured varnishes, because in some cases we won't need to add further colourants. But to have a totally transparent varnish, we'll have to do more research. So, where and how will the final biolacquer produce be used? At this factory near Thessalonica in Greece, 120 million tin cans are produced each year. The new biolacquer has been tested here in a real production environment. The factory managers say their customers are eager to invest in more environmentally friendly food packaging, provided costs are reasonable. We don't know if the cost will be higher, or if so, how much higher. But I'm sure that when we produce it on an industrial scale, the costs will be significantly lower, and I think it will eventually match the costs of existing lacquers. Our research suggests this new bio lacquer could come on the market in significant quantities in around two and a half to three years.